Hello everyone and welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing another heavily requested video. Um, people have been requesting this one for years and years. Um, this one is in regards to the treatment of mycosis. Now for those of you who don't know, mycosis is a fungal infection that centipedes and other invertebrates get when they're kept in too humid or dirty conditions for too long, or rather too humid and dirty conditions. Um, you can also get it from just high humidity and low ventilation in some species cases like Heros and Polymorpha, um, which unfortunately with Heros and Polymorpha, a lot of times mycosis is a death sentence. Um, tropical peds seem to fare better with mycosis. Uh, they can live longer, but it still can overwhelm and kill them. It uh, appears on their joints and their underside as black markings or um, the joints themselves just entirely turn black and then they lose mobility and sometimes even eat the entire leg off. Um, on their undersides you can get full patches of mycosis that look terrible. Um, but anyways, this centipede arrived to me and it does have a pretty significant mycosis infection. So we're going to go ahead and try to clear it up for this little guy. Um, now in the past, mycosis has often uh, been a mystery to some keepers or it has been um, not properly taken care of or they go about it the wrong way, trying to add humidity and stuff like that and just make it worse. So hopefully this sheds some light onto this killer of centipedes and allows some people to treat it and save their centipedes. So first of all, what we're gonna need, Q-tips, paper, or I'm um, sorry, uh, toothpicks. This guy right here, a bobby pin. You're going to need yourself just a little shot glass. This is for a mixture we're going to be doing. You can use any small cup, really. Um, you want some rock salt, not flavored, none of that table salt, none of that. Get pure rock salt. So this is Pakistani rock salt, a big chunk of it. Um, and then, of course, you need a cup or a uh, jug because you're going to have to knock the centipede out. I'm going to be using the icing method to knock the centipede out because we're going to have to clear up a lot of sections real quick and we're going to have to keep this ready to um, have the centipede be put to sleep, you know, and then I can work with it real fast and if it starts to wake up, I can put it to sleep again. Um, anyways, let's jump into this video and start checking out this mycosis infection and I'll explain what we're going to do to treat it. First, we're going to want to get our salt solution ready. Now, this is going to be an extremely heavy saline solution. Um, so we're going to use quite a bit of rock salt in the bottom of this. So I'm going to go ahead and chip some off of this chunk. I'll show you about how much I chip off and put in there. And then we're going to dissolve it in hot, hot, hot water. Scalding hot, actually. So let's go ahead and get that chip knocked off of there. Okay, so I dumped uh, the salt that I had knocked off of here into the glass, so we got a pretty significant chunk there, as you can see. Um, now, we're gonna go ahead and add the hot water. It'll take a little bit to dissolve, um, so don't expect it to happen super fast. Just keep mixing it up. Okay, it's been roughly about five minutes. Um, I've gotten most of my salt to disintegrate into the water. There is a little bit left on the bottom, but we're slowly mixing it up. Um, so after about five to ten minutes you should have your solution all mixed up and I, I stuck this in the microwave for a second and watched it and let it get to a boil um, and then took it out immediately and so this is boiling hot and the salt is melted in it so now we're gonna go ahead and put the centipede to sleep so we're gonna need to get ourselves the jug and the cold water so I'm gonna do that now okay so I've gotten the centipede in the cold water and we're just waiting a second for it to knock out and then we're gonna pull it out and check out the mycosis so here we are, this is the knocked out centipede. As you can see, I don't know if I can get close enough, but there's these black dots all on the underside of it. That is all mycosis that needs to be treated. Um, it's also on the tip of its legs, but that's not too much to worry about. It's eaten one leg off from the mycosis infection. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start treating all these individual little spots here. So. First of all, let's get our Q-tips and start cleaning up the areas. Okay, so we're going to take our Q-tip and we're going to start cleaning each individual area really good where the mycosis is. Now I'm holding a camera, I'd normally be doing this with two hands to keep the centipede clean. So let me wipe these down a little and then I'll show you what the Q-tip looks like after we clean off each individual little mycosis area. 
Okay, so I've only scrubbed some of the areas, but as you can see, the Q-tip's getting very dirty. Um, and it's because there is a lot of nasty stuff built up around these uh, infection spots. I'm going to have to put the centipede back to sleep again. It's starting to wake up. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to keep cleaning all these spots up a little more, and then we'll move along here. Okay, so I got the centipede back all the way asleep, and here's where the toothpick or the bobby pin comes in. So this one's going to be hard to get on camera. Um, you're not going to want to dig too deep, but you're going to want to try to dig out a bit of the infection if possible. And you'll notice when you scrape along it, black little bits will come off. And in some cases, you can scrape it to the point where all the black bits come off, and the only thing left is the yellow. So I'm going to go through, and I'm going to scrape them off, and then we'll take a look at them after I get all the mycosis bits off. Um, don't dig too deep. Try to keep it on the skin layer, but scratch off the hard stuff that's dark. Okay, So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then we'll look at them afterwards, because right now we can see a decent bit of black. Let's see if we can get a lot of that off. So the centipede woke up, unfortunately, but I was able to get those first two segments. As you can see, these ones are dark, and I've cleaned off these. So I'm going to continue to go down. I don't know if I'm focusing here. I'm going to continue to go down further. Um, so yeah, those two yellow ones you see. Those are the ones I've cleaned off, and I'm going to keep cleaning the infection off as I go down. So let me get this guy back to sleep so I don't have to hold him. So now I got a lot of that mycosis cleaned up. Not all of it, but for the sake of the video, I'm going to get to this because it's dragging on a little too long. So this is my salt solution. I'm going to get a Q-tip thoroughly soaked in this. I'm going to rub it around in the base salt. This is starting to wake up, so we got to do this quick. We're going to apply this solution all the way along where the infection was. So all over here. Again, sorry he's grabbing at it, he's waking up. This is a salt solution, so rock salt, not table salt. And we're putting it all over each of the mycosis areas that we've cleaned off. So, this, um, I'm not, you know, a uh, doctor, but I will say the salt sterilizes and cleans the area out after I've scratched off the existing mycosis infection. Um, and this has worked great for me in the past. Um, it saved quite a few centipedes with severe mycosis infections. Now there are two dots you can still see right here at the front. Those ones are actually under the skin. So we're going to have to wait for the centipede to molt and hope that it molts out of there. It's probably going to lose this leg too because the mycosis is way too deep in the joint. I've tried to work on that affected area, but um, I couldn't get too, too much out of it, and I didn't want to break the leg off. But I got a lot of it cleaned up, a lot of the front segments and even down the trunk cleaned up really good. And so now that that salt solution's on, we're going to let it sit till it wakes up. I'll zoom out here. And uh, keep it in a very dry enclosure after this bone dry, offer a water dish, um, no wet substrate, nothing. Just put a paper towel down, completely dry, and a little water dish. Check on it um, over the next couple weeks. Make sure that you feed it plenty, you know, um, and then hopefully you got a centipede that will molt out and no longer have any mycosis. But just from this little treatment we did, you can see I cleared a lot of it up. So. Hopefully it can heal, the mycosis won't come back, and we will have a super healthy Dehani here. Anyways, that's uh, basically what I do for mycosis treatment. Um, it works wonders. Uh, don't overdo it, you know, with the scratching, like I said. Um, but scratch off as much of the top layer as you can. Don't dig into the skin or anything. If there's a heavily affected leg, um, if it's too, too bad and the leg is pretty much all the way blackened, just snip that leg off um, or it'll eat it off on its own. It's up to you, whatever you want to do. This one did eat one of the legs off that was bad with mycosis on its own, that one right there. But anyways, yeah, I've treated that a little bit with the salt too now. Let's flip you back over, buddy. But yeah, so I hope this helps you guys. Um, this might give a little more insight to mycosis than what there has been online um, and so 
ideally this will save some centipedes in the future. Thank you guys for all the support. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for my upcoming videos. I made a breeding video the other night. I didn't get all the footage I wanted. Unfortunately, I missed the sperm web and sperm pickup, but I did get all of it, and I did get video uh, evidence of the destroyed sperm web. Uh, so that's kind of cool, but also I, I wanted a little more than that. But we're going to keep trying. I'll probably post um, a few of those uh, breeding videos. Um, but yeah, we're going to do that handling video. Hopefully my coconut crab comes out and molts, finishes his molt rather here pretty soon so we can get the video of him. Um, but for now, um, this is it. And we will see you guys next time here at Mike's House of Thousand Legs.